Bobby. You seem quiet tonight. Is everything all right? Oh, yeah, I'm totally fine. Yeah. I'm actually, you know, I'm sorry if I spoke too much today. I just, I think I got nervous. This is actually more like how I usually am. I'm very quiet, very quiet and just like weirdly normal. <laughs> well, thanks again for planning such a lovely day. Oh, you're so welcome, Mrs. Shepard. Oh, sound like one of my students. Call me Anne. Okay, I will. Uh, Mom's been a second grade teacher for almost 40 years now. Oh my God, that's amazing. We need good teachers now more than ever. Thank you. I agree. <laughs> and Aaron says you're working at an American History Museum. Yes. Yes, it is. It's an American History Museum. Mm -hmm. Well, it's actually an LGBTQ history museum. It's the first major queer history museum in America. Do you teach your students any gay history? Because I know in a few states they're finally starting to do it. Well, I teach second grade, so no. Oh, right, no, I understand, yeah. Out of curiosity, why not? Well, I just think they're a little young for that. Oh, of course, yeah, no, I understand that. I don't think so, though. Ah, Bobby. No, 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 I'm just saying, if I may disagree respectfully, that's actually the best time to teach them when they're young, you know? That way they develop an appreciation for queer people before they all start bullying each other or hating themselves if they're gay. Maybe you're right. No. Feels a little young, though. Hmm. Right, totally, I get it. I will drop it. <laughs> yeah. Agree to disagree. Yeah. Cheers to that. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Hey, so uh, when are you guys heading it's home? It's not really that young, though. It's not that young. Bobby, can you please drop it? No, I can't, because we're talking about gay kids here, and it's important. One of the things that saved me is that my parents exposed me to gay stories when I was a kid. When I was 12 years old, this is true, my parents took me to see a Broadway play called Love and Compassion. It was about a group of gay men spending the summer together in Provincetown. And all of a sudden, the curtain goes up, and there are seven completely naked gay men on stage. And there I am, sitting between my mom and dad at age 12, looking at seven soft penises. Oh, shit. And all of a sudden, two of the guys start making out, and then one of them starts like talking dirty, you know? And I remember this so vividly. There was a sex scene, and one of the guys is like, pound my prostate, pound my prostate, you know, milk me, milk me. And I didn't even know what that was. I mean, now I do. But you know, it was incredible, you know, to know that I could sit there between my mom and dad looking at seven penises. Seven penises, Anne. I was 12. And to know that they were okay with that, I mean, that had a profound effect on me. All I'm saying is we need to remove the stigma from that type of thing so that gay kids can feel good about themselves. That's all I'm saying. I mean, look at Aaron and how much he hates his life. Bobby. No, all I'm saying is there's a direct correlation between how unhappy you are with your life and what you weren't taught about your potential as a child. Bobby, stop talking. Seriously, oh. enough. I will kill you. Aaron, you hate your life? Well, a Change, 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 change